Twas a dark and stormy night. For the second consecutive year in a row, we are being rained upon here at Hershey Park in the dark. I apologize to anyone who's watching these videos trying to get like an understanding of what happens at Park in the Dark. It doesn't always rain like this, but for us, apparently, it's a, it's a recurring thing. Welcome back, everyone, to Hershey, Pennsylvania and Hershey Park, where it's been a minute since we've been here and quite a bit has changed. Today, though, our focus is going to be on all of the attractions, the food, and the ride experiences available for Hershey Park's fall season, Hershey Park in the dark. If you've seen our vlogs from being here in Hershey Park before, you know that there's plenty of sweet treats and savory options here at the park year round. However, in the fall season, the Halloween season, the park in the dark season, these options exist. No. So much so that there is absolutely no way we'd be able to try every single thing here on our own. So you know what they say. If you need a hand, eat not good food. Who are you gonna call? Theme Park Foodie! <laughs> <laughs> So we are meeting up here with our friends Jay and Sam from the theme park foodies to try out our friends chicken pot pie egg rolls. Yes, to try out the egg rolls and so many other, so many other food and drink options here for the fall festival. Some would say too many. Yeah, Not way too many. Too many. <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, just bite it. What? Chicken pot pie egg roll. I like. It's cheesier than I was expecting it to be in the center, which I think is actually good. You have to, oh, holy crap, that's huge. I want you to go ahead and bottom these out and then we'll hop on laugh track. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we got the pot roast fries from Tower Fries. They were $10, nine with our season pass discount. And this bucket would feed a family of five. We've also got the caramel apple bowl and hot cider, fresh from? Blah bowls. Okay. I never get the name right, that's why I put the focus on you. Here, if I break the seal? Go for it. Yes, great right there. It is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. Uh, I want to give this a solid eight. Oh. Solid, it's good hard cider. Actually, it's not hard. It's good hot cider. It's soft cider. Soft cider. <laughs> I First bite. A little bit of roast. A little bit of everything. A fry. Try to get the whole experience. Oh my God. Well, this is going to be messy. I think it's good. I definitely would eat it. I'm not getting like a a really strong flavor though. I don't know how else. Yeah. Like it's very tender. It's very tender beef. Hmm. It's very tender. The fries themselves are just like really good fries. Yeah, I could just eat the fries too. I, I really, this is one of my favorite items. And it's one of my favorite spots, so I'm probably a little biased. But these are a solid nine for me. I really enjoy them. You've got the... We got the fall bowl from the Ula. The well, part of it. Apple granola bowl. Pulled apple. some of the apple granola out into a less aesthetically pleasing arrangement. Right. I don't know what the red stuff is. is I that... don't either. It kind of looks like cranberry sauce, but yeah. I don't think it is because, well, unless it's frozen. Let's see. Get in focus. Mm. Get in focus. Oh, that's a different looking face. That's actually really good. So is it is it sweet? Is it savory? It's, yes. It oh. does. Everything. It's everything. At the beginning of your bite, you're mostly, mostly tasting the granola, which doesn't have a lot of flavor in and of itself, but there's peanut butter blended in here. No. Oh. This, I think, is raspberry frozen something or other, because it definitely tastes the part. So it's sweet. And then the apples kind of bring everything out, too. All right, let me try this. Out. This tastes like it came from the outside. <laughs> it does have kind of... like it was freshly picked. Yeah, it does have kind of like an earthy undertone to it. Got to let it blend a little bit. Yeah, this time I'm probably going to bunch of everything together. Hmm. Oh. Yep, there it is. The, there it is. The nut butter. <laughs> All right, so we're in the Overlook Arcade right now, and we'd never seen this before. There's a little, really, really old puppet show right here in the back behind the ski ball and the battle pod and all the modern games that have drawn all the attention. There's this little thing over here. It costs 25 cents to play. Oh, this is adorable. That definitely looks like Pinocchio. It's Pinocchio. The whole thing is Pinocchio. There's, this is Figaro. Why is there a witch? 
I don't know. That's Pinocchio. He won't tell you the truth though. He's not good at that. I've been watching him play this game for 10 years and he's never won. Either Super Duper Looper has had a paint job or I am losing my ability to see color. Last time I took a turn through this loop, it was definitely blue. Now it is white. Ch -ch 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 changes. New for 2021 at Park in the Dark, fog. Look at that. It's like a real haunted park now. Quick poll, how many here would like to see chainsaws added to Hershey Park in addition to the fog? <laughs> I don't no. think it like goes with the aesthetic it of Hershey Park. Chainsaws. chainsaws, Jay. Chainsaws. chainsaws. They are loud. <laughs> Woo! It's like a whole production. Yeah. <laughs> Spinning after an angry archer. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Whoa. We found it. There it goes. Spook factor aside, I just kind of feel like fog makes everything slightly more cinematic. So I love to see fog added to this park. It was so desperately needed. Yes. Yes, more. This is where I genuinely feel like we might get murdered. By a, a man dressed as a candy bar? Yeah. <laughs> that would be horrifying. <laughs> no one would suspect him, he's too sweet. We are now in line for the Spring Creek Smokehouse Hopson Harvest menu, which is something that Katie and I did last year. Thought it was fantabulous. There are some new offerings this year, but we don't know what they are! So the deal is you can order a king-size platter that has the Oktoberfest specialized entree, but it changes like week to week. We have no idea what to expect until the week up. So this weekend specials are the Oktoberfest pork loin as an entree, side of pierogies with onions, and dessert, which looks really, really good, pumpkin spice cake with pumpkin mousse. All right, I am the official taste tester for the pork loin. It's Oktoberfest pork Oktoberfest. This is a larger bite than I intended to have, but there you go. I feel like it looks dry. It's dry. Oh, it's, it's a little so bit dry. Uh, you need some gravy or something. Yes. I think you might have been better that off going for the whole thing. That is such a frozen pierogi. Oh, <laughs> it, it can't be bit better than a five. It's, it's a mama cheese pierogi. The cook, I mean, I like caramelized onions. But they're caramelized onion. I don't know. Yeah, and you like mama teas. Yeah. Not bad. I wish they were hotter. But they're not bad. They're, they're not bad. I, no. I wish they were hotter. I wish they were hotter. Now here's where the rubber meets the road. The cake. This looks like someone's grandma made it. Yeah. Like, this looks way more legit. Three, two, go. <laughs> I like it. I think it's good. But the pumpkin cool mousse in the it's middle. It's very spiced. Very, it has a yeah. lot of pumpkin spice. It's a, like a, it's a spice cake. That's the winner. Keep that. I'll give that a solid seven. Yep. Yeah, I would agree. We haven't done very many rides tonight. I promise they're coming, but on our way to our next adventure, we noticed that Sidewinder has gotten a little bit of a paint job as well. It looks like they're not done either. There's still some work to be performed here, so we'll see what the final product looks like. The thought process is that this might be getting a Jolly Rancher re-theme. I think it would be fitting for my least favorite ride in the park to be branded with my least favorite candy. Only time will tell. felt like last year's light package was better, oh, if nothing they had else. So many, just the displays were so cute. And I think they had little like walkthroughs you could do. Like it's still a cute and super fun experience, nice. and the yeah. kids are very excited. It's definitely, it back, but... it's just not quite as I wouldn't even say overwhelming, whelming as last year's event. Yeah. I just hope that next year the light packages that they had in place in 2020 yeah. make a comeback. 
and we can see more of the awesomeness that we saw in 2020. Yeah. Because that really excites the kids. And it excites me as someone who can't have candy. I like to see the pretty lights. And then there's Jay who <laughs> snuck his, uh, his Reese's. Three street trails. How <laughs> do you old, old people yeah. well, I'm your This 12 year old man I here. Have. Now having said what we already said about Treatville, it's fully possible that they shifted some of those lights onto the Ferris wheel because that looks gorgeous. Yeah, the new lighting package on the Ferris wheel is worth the Wow. Right All right, we've decided that it is time for a ride, and the only one that seems to have a reasonable weight is Lightning Racers. So that's what we're gonna do. God bless you, Lightning Racer. You always have a five minute wait. Okay, so first of all, there was fog in the photo tunnel, which I thought was a nice touch. Wasn't expecting that, and you definitely can't see it from the queue, yeah, so it was a surprise. surprise. <laughs> but second, and more importantly, we won! That was eight years old. <laughs> The bad luck finally. The, the curse end. is we lifted. <laughs> yes. It's the power of us. Oh, look. Another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Taking another pit stop at Simply Chocolate for one of the last seasonal items on our seasonal snack crawl here. So there are three flavors of king size shakes that are specialty for the seasonal offerings here. There's the Reese's flavor, there's the birthday cake flavor, and there's the pumpkin flavor. We got two of them. What is right the there brand? on top. Uh, I don't know, is there some eyeballs around the side is of it too? Ooh! It's one big piece. It's a Rice Krispie Treat. Oh! oh I thought it was a gummy brand. Yeah, it's a, it's a new, they never put a Rice Krispie Treat on top of a crazy shit before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Is it good peanut butter? Mm. And these are smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Can never go wrong with Reese's. We have dug into the uh, accessory on our milkshake. It's, well, the ghost is dead now. Tim murdered the ghost. It's even deader than it started as a ghost. And, and Jay, Jay, it's a peanut butter pie? That's a peanut butter pie. This is a peanut yeah, butter I pie. I have an actual slice of peanut butter pie. Oh, yeah, but I kind of like the circle. Yeah, it's like a tart. Mm. <laughs> All right, how's the how's the peanut butter pie? It literally tastes like a giant peanut butter cup with like softer, creamier insides than ever. So it's delicious. It's really good. There is so much food here. There is just so much food. the size of this monstrosity. This is not my first king size donut, but they never get less impressive or intimidating.
<laughs> now eat it. <laughs> this is way too much donut for one person. Or two people. Or even three. So we're splitting there's, it up. There's some bigger pieces than others. <laughs> I hope I did this Am I taking a bite? You're doing it. All right, the girls are going first. Ladies first, as they say. Samantha, Katie, what do you guys think? This is one of our favorite things from last year. So no one's too impressed. <laughs> I really like the icing. I feel like it's a little bit dry. The donut part. How could that be? We watched it made. I feel like it's very doughy. Um, it is a doughy, it's not a cakey donut. Man, if they had cream in this donut, <laughs> these hills would sink. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it here for us at Hershey Park in the Dark 2021. We pretty much spent the whole day doing a snack crawl with our friends Jay and Sam here. That wasn't entirely our plan, but I gotta say, I don't regret it one little yeah, bit. <laughs> we really needed your help. So yeah, there was a lot, a lot, a <laughs> lot of food here tonight. <laughs> Again, staffing shortages are impacting every amusement park all around the country, but Hershey Park, I think, is doing a pretty good job of pulling it together. The lighting package on the Ferris wheel here is phenomenal. I think that's a huge improvement. Adding fog to the park this year, you would be surprised how much of a difference it makes. It really does kind of add that eerie atmosphere that we've come to love but from all of these. still Eve. family friendly. Yeah, no chainsaws <laughs> yet. Yet. <laughs> Yet. At the end of the day, anytime we hit Hershey Park is a fun day, whether it's a rainy day or not. So remember to stay safe, stay dry, stay healthy. Most of all, remember that every, every day, day is a new, new adventure. adventure. Bye! See ya!